Yo quiero ir a su mañora. Hamba, Ini, Lapo, Ue, y Makaya. I'm not about that, but I like it. <laughs> Chill, man. What's up with you? What's up with you? Doing good, doing great. Yeah. Tired. Um, wish I could be at home in my bed watching Netflix. Oh, dog, same here, dog. But you know, a boy's gotta do what a boy's gotta yeah. do. You know, you sometimes know? I wake up and I think to myself, why did we start this podcast? Like, yo, like Sundays don't belong to us anymore. Like, that's what I feel like, you know what I mean? Um, I'll give you think an about answer. It. I'll give you an answer. Why did we start the podcast? Besides that, because it's good business. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> like how things us. That's, that, that's a good answer. That's a good answer. I'll give you that. That's a good answer. Yeah, we like things, dog. Yeah, we like things. Sundays dog. don't belong to us anymore, dog. Like, we have to schedule every Sunday. You know what I mean? Around Even the podcast. Around that. Even, like, today, you know, our cameraman, our videographer, he had to schedule his whole month because of that, and that's why we're shooting. Two weeks in a row be the biggest fucking podcast in Cape Town, boy. If you don't recognize that shit right now, man, fuck them, dog. Hey, stop, stop profanity. Yeah. I'm so saying too much. So much profanity I when see, you're I selling see. us, dog. Like, I I, this one is shoving us. <laughs> down on us. <laughs> but we are the biggest podcast in Cape Town, and yeah, my name is my Trendy. Team. I'm joined by the boy. Wow, hotel. We do this every second Sunday out here, Colab 22, Lower the Main Road in Observatory. It could have been a bri, ICHPB. Check us out. Yeah man. Yeah man. How Otherwise, are you doing? How are you doing? How was your weekend? After yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> well, doing, after yes, after we split yesterday at the station, as you know, I went to um see, ne? Oh, no. Forbes is playing music. Sorry guys, Forbes is playing music. I keep turning it down. Can you go and tell Forbes we have started? So yeah. So can you please please kill the music? All in all. Respect the podcast. Yeah. Sorry. Um yeah, I had to go and handle the beers at C Cantina. With the boy Mexico, Mexico. Gents, shout yeah, out to yeah, Mexico, man. To shout Mexico out to Mexico. My, my homie Menzi. Uh, um, so yeah, we handled, man, and we were there. It was a dope set. I just don't like the the sound, man, at at C Cantina. And the ambience, really? No, not the ambience. Like the vibe is good. The people are nice, and everything's great. It's just the ambience, sound meaning uh, what I'm trying to say. What I mean is sound like the. Great. The, the the acoustics basically the ambience yeah yeah, yeah the it's acoustics, basically ambience yeah, yeah. yeah if you, if you put it acoustics ambience then yeah. I would have got yeah so that's exactly what I'm complaining about um okay because like I don't get that hard hitting feeling mm-hmm. man you know mm-hmm. of the mm-hmm. sound and how people are also receiving it but I still played a dope set nonetheless um even though I have to say that to myself. Hey, um, but yeah, I didn't get hey the show, okay <laughs> okay maybe we should get like a second opinion. When it comes to the set, cause hey, I mean, I'm oh, doubting yeah. it. Why would you doubt it? No, I'm fucking with you. Obviously, <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, cool. Yeah, that was man, dope. It was a dope vibe. It was a nice vibe. How was it? Was um, it? Cause it's the last weekend of the month, of to the be month. honest. It was and people haven't gotten paid, so it was I'm full. guessing really. It was full. Ah, cool, uh, cool. Crazy That's enough, proper. Cause that was the thing. But and it's it's so to me anyway, so I guess so. To me. Yeah. But also, what so happened was that they they said that there was a kid who um. He's coming from the States. He actually had to perform a song before my set. Okay. So this kid was coming from the States and he brought a whole bunch of people to come oh, through to see Cantina last all right. night. So it was just packed there with a whole lot of people from, in, from you know, International abroad, vibes, yeah. yeah. And apparently they're shooting some Netflix shandies. They're here for six months. Really? And yeah, yeah, yeah. And the boys are rapping something. But he played a nice song, man. So were you speaking with an accent yesterday? No, no, no. Because that's what I do when I meet is people that <laughs> are not from South Africa. You know uh, what I mean? If this is I an speak, accent, I speak with a you know different accent. You if, know, if this is an accent, this is how I speak. Yeah, ah, there's no accent there, dog. It's just uh, I feel it's like a longer accent, dog. You need to do that. You know, you know that that British one. You know, there's that British right. accent. You know, all yeah, right, mate. you're all right, all right mate. mate. You know, yeah. Should we get Pollocks. a beer? Should we get a beer? <laughs> you know? Pollocks. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you know? Then you know you're within. Yeah. <laughs> but um, uh, to the highlight of the night, I must say, man, scenes at Sea Cantina when, um, you know, Banyana Banyana went on to clinch oh, yeah. the, the title. Oh, they're watching the, the Women's the African Cup of Nations, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Shout outs. I love y'all. Ladies, y'all my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> That sounded more like the, he likes him more than just playing football yeah, to no, me. More than, <laughs> more than that. Yeah, that I couldn't watch the game, man. I couldn't watch the game. How was it? Um, so I also couldn't really 
watch the game properly, but oh, I was catching okay. snippets of it as I was, oh, you know, okay, hanging. okay, okay. So um, they played well, man. And I checked the highlights this morning. They, they beat Morocco, so correct? Well. Two one, Morocco. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they beat Morocco two one. Uh, Morocco were the hosts. Um, if you didn't know. Oh uh, shit! They were hosting they as were well. The host, God dog. damn they it, the dog! That must it's have been final, painful, dog. dog. Morocco, ah, they dog. Next time, my boy. Next time, my boy. Next time, dog. I don't feel sorry for Morocco, though. Yeah, I don't. I don't. But you, feel but sorry but but you know the pain of getting of losing, of losing while at home. at home. Yeah, you it know the to pain. So that's so. what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. We even hosted the Kef as well. When we hosted the Kef as well, we lost. You know. So that's what I'm saying. Morocco, you're hard, it dog, because I know that pain. I think it was like in 2016, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we hosted recently yes. Kef in in yeah, in in, in the, in the thing. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, so. Had it, dog. You know, it's a painful but thing, man. Yeah, man. Shout outs to Banyana Banyana. Banyana Banyana, yeah. Best. You had I, it, I, I just, dog. I, I have a complaint. And my complaint, complaint is that I feel like South Africa is not making noise enough about this this milestone. Okay? Yeah. Um, It's quiet. It's quiet. This is something to be extremely proud of. It's national pride. Should, today should be national pride day, bro. And, yeah. And I feel like Banyana Banyana has been pushing the boundaries. They've been pushing the levels coming from a long way out, you know, from th the days that we still had Porsche Modise on the team. Mm -hmm. So for us not to be making a noise, it's such <coughs> a Porsche great Modise, milestone. Porsche dog. Yeah, dog. That's a, a legend, dog. Yo, 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 yo. I remember one of her goals that was like center half, dog. Yeah. I think it was that was even in her later years. And, and she center won half, dog. Yeah. yeah she yo, 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 yo. One of the best goals yeah. in women's football. Sister of Tico Medici. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you think we should be celebrating them more? That's what I you're saying. I think they sh they ought to be celebrated more. Um, we ought to be having a national march or something. Yeah, yeah. Like we I think to it's gonna happen. Though, when to they come back, when I think they they're gonna back, do something yeah, like no, that. Yeah, needs to, The grounds need to shake, bro. To be to be the honest, I think I think we are celebrating them though because like on my status or, or on my on my WhatsApp, there's so many people. You know what I mean? Like, yo, but nyana, but nyana, showing the posters, whatnot, that type of vibe, you know? But I do think, though, with what you're saying, I do understand where you're coming from with that. Um, it is, a, it is, a, it is, it is a, a good point, you know? Mm. I think, though, the way that they're going right now, they are, we are going to be getting, we'll get to the mood where they literally become our national number one team when it comes yeah. to football, you know what For I mean? Sure. So I think it's just going to take a couple of years, but I think this is like the first step because... South Africa, we haven't won the CAF, like the men, but Fana Fana hasn't won it, they, correct? No, we have. In when was it again? In 96. After Madiba, Madiba Magic. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Ah, we Tami was lying to me, and I told Tami, dog. <laughs> I told <laughs> Tami we've yeah. won it. Tami the, the, the girl, yeah. Yes, yeah. I told her we've like, won it. She was like, now we've not won it, dog. Like ah, that's Jael of Time, Micho. She doesn't look at the time, Micho. Yeah, man, I remember. I think it was with Wobo Botokta, right? Um, yes, Abu Ooh, the, the, the guy from um, Pirates, the tall guy, Eric is the one Tinkler, that scored. Eric the black Tinkler guy, what's his name? The guy from Pirates, black the one guy. that scored the fire, the, the oh, on the thing. Um, what's his name? You know? um, I remember the guy, man. Usi? Ah, Usi. Yes, 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 yes. Mark Williams in them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. On that team, Mark oh, yeah. Fish. Oh, yeah. Now I remember, yeah, yeah. That, that, that time, that's yeah. when we won the, the, the FCON. That was the first and last time. We haven't come close to ever since oh, i've been disaster ever since ever dog. since man been disaster so, ever since yeah man big shout out to uh coach desri ellis she also shout won out, shout um out. she also won an award for coach of the women's coach of the year oh yeah yeah that's for proper. Her milestones with what she's done for um, um banyana banyana so she's shout done out some great stuff man. Yeah, shout, out her, shout, stuff. Out so shout out to her shout out to her man listen really i, I want to ask you this and maybe the other guys can also those that know football can also engage on this because I feel like there's a rivalry between, there's always been a rivalry between Nigeria and South Africa. Yeah. And even in football, even in football, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Of course, they've, they, 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 they've have more, you know, accolades than us. But there's always been, because when we know I won it, I know the story for Nigerians that they, the year that we won it, they weren't playing that year. Yeah. And I think it was based on something, something happened to them or whatnot. And they always said that if they were there for that World Cup, we would not have won it. They would have won it. For, There's for, always for been for that not World Cup, sorry, the for calf the, uh, for, for the that calf, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. When Mark Fish was playing, yes, yes, they would have won it if 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 if, if they were there Wait, but, at that but, one. But I think something had happened. Nah, they was won. Nigeria that not year. competing in '96, coach. You nah, '96 they weren't playing. 
They weren't competing. They weren't so playing. Check on that out for us, please. In yeah, on, on Google, check on your phone, check on your stuff, phone yeah. for, us, for us, please. Fact check that about. You know, but where does the okay. rivalry? F- where do you think the rivalry between Nigeria and South Africa come from? You know, so I think the 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 the, the, the friendly rivalry, of course, not the. Well, it's not so friendly if you really think no, about I'm it. No, I'm just saying it in, in terms of <laughs> in terms of politics. You know, in terms of politics, I I don't want that you thing want to of be saying politically correct. Yeah, no. What, I, 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 what I'm trying to say is that we have, we obviously know that the dynamics of South Africa in terms of you know us sometimes saying hey Nigerians this I must go back home. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. That that obviously is bullshit. But just the rivalry. Yeah. The the friendly rivalry. Where does that come from? I, I I can't really say where it really comes from, man. But what I think is happening is a, is, a, is a case of South Africa is an African superpower. Nigeria is also uh, I- in some level an African superpower, also with their own um, sources of mineral resources that they have and raw materials, right, such as oil and everything. And if you check, they are the strongest um, uh, currency on Africa right now. They're stronger than the rand, even. Mm-hmm. Yeah, told. Really? I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, the naira I think is stronger than the rand right okay. now. Uh, I should be correct on that. So, I think it's 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 just that l- that that thing because also with South Africa having this history of xenophobia and thinking that we are better simply because we hold so many Europeans in our space, so, you know, people of a fair complexion, and they're not so maybe prevalent in Nigeria. And Nigeria is still run in its traditional ways in some in s- to some regard because you must check the contrast between south africa and other african countries is very large it's very large yeah, you yeah. Know, we're yeah. so much more westernized than yeah. other african countries and other african countries sort of look down on us for that and then and then again you have the aspect of us as south africans you know this individuals on the street sometimes you meet we might be a little bit more liberated not to act that way but you know the general consensus it's a thing of we think we're better than other african people so I think yeah, that's which is why a bit idiotic, but yeah, yeah, which I think, bit which I think it, it is idiotic, yeah. right? And I think that's where the the rivalry sort of stems from, if you mm. ask me. And also, when you check, if you t- check some of the engagements when you have with like Nigerian peop, pe- uh, Nigerian foreign nationals that are in South Africa and, and so and so and so on, you'll find that they also look down on us because they're like, y- y'all don't know anything, y'all are not resourceful, y'all are lazy, mm. y'all can't work. I think the All other thing, <laughs> I think, I think the other thing is that. When, when, when we speak about Nigerians, and it's obviously a topic that we shouldn't be... Ah, know, we should. For that long. No, no. I'm just saying we shouldn't shed be discussing for that long anyway. That's shed light how you know, though. Sure, Please, sure. don't hold back. The thing, the, thing, the thing about Nigerians, though, is that one thing I know about them is that they're very proud. Yeah. Extremely. I think that's another thing about them that... Not even just South Africa, but I think every other country or in the world, they're just like, hey, here you guys are again, you know? They're very proud. They have that thing that, you know, we are Nigerian. Mm. I think out of the whole of Africa, they are the ones that have that thing to say, hey, once they step in the, in, into the... Into like, the for room. instance, I'll give an example. Like, if you were to ask a group of, 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 of Africans, in fact, there was actually a YouTube thing about this, where they asked different um, African people about, like, where's the best food at? Do you know what I mean? Mm. Where's the best woman at? And where's mm. the, you know? And you'll find different cultures, you know, saying... Oh no, you know, I think it's 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 Kenya. I think the best whatnot is in Congo, it's in sure. Mozambique, it's you know what sure. I mean, South Africa, whatever. Nigerians, they they just chose themselves. Because <laughs> <laughs> of the Jollof rice. Bro, <laughs> from the beginning to the <laughs> Niger end, Jollof. Like, ah, yeah. <laughs> it's Niger or it's nothing, you know what I mean? And, and you Which is something to, dope as well. You, you know? have to also give it to them, man, because um, Nigerian tradition and culture has also been exported to the world now. And yeah. it's, it's highly consumed. I remember watching Atlanta this recent season, mm-hmm. uh, season three. There's an episode there where they are in Europe. I think it's France. Mm-hmm. And Darius, one of my favorite characters, a uh, friend to Paperboy, the rapper, is like they ask that they have this person that they assign to them to assist them with whatever they want and then they say if you're hungry and whatnot ask this person to order you some food so this person is basically taking orders so Darius being the weird guy he is he also does say if you if you watch the, uh, the series that he's ho- I think he is Nigerian originally mm-hmm. so he then asks for Niger Jolof <laughs> 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 now they spend the entire episode moving around the streets of Europe looking for <laughs> Niger Jolof <dog. laughs> oh that's crazy yeah. Yeah. but the nice thing on that episode is that it was based on culture vultures and culture appropriation because the lady that takes him to the Niger of Jalof space that they do actually find at the end um, and then he enjoys the food and everything and this lady also enjoys the food but then she 
goes on to appropriate the culture in her own way. She buys the space, they move back to Nigeria, and then she oh changes shit, it yeah. to some cheap version of a Niger special place <laughs> oh, yeah. and everything. And then, and then he's just so cut up about it, you know? And it's sort of like this thing where... where the premise, I think, in the episode is this thing whereby they, they are communicating that a lot of the times we have to we have to get we have to get our voices silenced as black people because mm-hmm. um, it's like it's like the whole Black Lives Matter thing and then all lives matter mm-hmm. because that was the premise. I don't know how to explain it properly now. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, I, I get you, I get you, I get you. Yeah. But they were yeah. just o- always saying that white white people always take our indigenous traditions and cultures and then appropriate it in their own ways do you and think make it yeah if i may thing. ask you do you think yeah. that <coughs> i mean we we have the rise of for instance like be i'm a piano which obviously at this point is not even the rise anymore yeah it's just yeah, like it's, it's, it's happening like dark, there, you know what i mean it's the i'm a piano yeah, machine you know, right yeah. now you know <laughs> but do you think do you think because i mean let's be honest i mean one of the great ways that for africa to be able to 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 become very wealthy and internationally respected is when we are exporting our goods, our goods, our sure. wealth, our intelligence, our beauty, you know sure. what I mean? This is in clothes, this is in food, this is in music, this is in finance, this mm. is in law, whatever the case mm. may be, you know what I mean? So do you think that though, the whole idea of um, culture, vi- what's culture? Culture vultures. Yeah, vultures. Yeah. Like, do you think like at some point though, it, it, it sort of, it limits you? Because let's be honest, right? If we're going to sell, it's like if we're going to sell an idea to the world and then the world buy into it, you can't perceive that they won't somehow want to adopt certain parts of those cultures. You know what I mean? Like it, it, it makes no sense for them to be bopping to Ama Piano internationally in Europe in fucking um, um, South American shit and then expect them not to want to make it. Mm. You know what I mean? I hear you. So, like, what's your what's your view on the fact that you know, it's one way or the other. These people are going to, and not in a way that they want to now exploit, but just yeah. in a way that they love the culture, they love the rice, mm. the jollof rice. I want to start making it myself. I see mm. a business opportunity, and also I enjoy it. Mm. I think the the most important thing is not to not to s- sort of shy away from the 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 one thing that makes whatever the the product or, or, or let's say food in this case is of jollof rice for example whatever whatever properties or attributes that make it what it is don't take those away mm-hmm. you know because then you're not you're no longer making that and you're just riding off of the brand do you get mm-hmm. me because that's what that's what had happened in that episode for example but i totally understand what you're saying because for example hip hop is not a South African thing, mm-hmm. but we've ta- adopted mm-hmm. that culture, mm-hmm. appropriated it, and, and changed it and made it in our own ways mm-hmm. here in South Africa, and we continue to export that back to them. And they're also enjoying it, right? Mm-hmm. But the fight that a lot of people are finding right now, I think, is the whole thing of saying that if you're a Drake, for example, and you're making an Ama Piano song, at least have a Kabza be the one who's producing it for you, <coughs> you know? Don't, don't now go and try and and make it and make your own version of Amapiano and it's not even Amapiano because you're trying to appeal to us and you expect us to consume it. We're not gonna because it's like that's not originally what we do. So have one of us basically introduce you to it and then maybe afterwards you can start doing whatever you want. I to feel do. that's unfair yeah. though, bro. Not 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 entirely. Why am I saying this? I'll give you an example. I, I think not entirely. House house music does not belong to us, right? It's not it's not South African. It's not African house music. Yes. Right? It started out there. It started out sure. there. It started in fact started in America in Chicago. In, in yeah, right? the warehouses. So now <laughs> you think about that and you think about the fact that <laughs> we nonetheless develop we nonetheless adopted it. We've we've created our own sort of subgenres of it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And we've created it such a South African foundation that in South Africa there's almost no music. Without house, house music, music. In, in terms of modern yeah. music, anyway, you it's know true. what I mean. It's true. You you can't see a South Africa without house, without, without without house, house music, music, bro. That's true. It's played at, at at weddings, at baby showers, at not even at groove. Like groove is everywhere. like the lot yeah. everywhere, every single way. A funeral, dog. <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm a after tears. You Bonk see what I mean, dog. <laughs> you know. So I feel like I feel like I, I understand where you're coming from. I think uh, sure. with what you're saying is like. To make it sound so authentic, if they haven't learned yet, they should get some 
sort of you know help, help yeah. from South Africa, from South African producers to or be able to Africa. do it, or yeah. from Africa, yeah. yes. Um, but for me, it's like gents. I'll give you an example. Like as as a producer myself as well. As soon as I hear something that I like, I want to do it. You want to do it, yeah. You know what I mean? And it, it doesn't, it's not even because maybe I want to appeal to those people. I don't give a fuck about those people. I just want to enjoy the music, you know what I mean? I want to enjoy the taste of the music, I want to understand. And incorporate it you into know what your I mean? own yeah. sound, basically. Because I, I, I already, even if you're not a producer, I mean, as a, as a musician or an artist, right? Mm. When you start doing something, you start doing something because you liked a piece of that from somewhere. Mm. You know, you're like, God damn it, how do they do that? This sounds so amazing, you know? I mean, I know in South Africa, we don't have a, a big or a huge electronic house music scene, right? In terms of like electro, like electro, right? It's there, but it's not as that big. But you can't tell me those, the, there's not a couple of songs that are electronic house tracks that you don't like. Yeah, you know true. what I mean? There's it's definitely true. a couple definitely of them. You know what I mean? And true. for for any producer, I know, bro, you're probably sitting at home like, oh man, Swedish House Mafia. How do they do How this? How do they do you that? You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you try to somehow create that or maybe incorporate it in like Afro mm. House or some shit like mm. that. You know what mm. I mean? No, I hear you. I yeah. hear you. No, you 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 have a valid point. And I was gonna say, I think you know this can be viewed in 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 in, in a hundred different lenses, man. And it definitely also can be tabled on a fucking panel discussion like we had last week. Yeah. <laughs> How was that, by the way? How was that for you? That was really dope, dog. Um, yeah. I, I really enjoyed it. Everybody also loved it. Um, some of the people that watched the, the the episode and gave me some feedback were like, yo, y'all need to do this more often. Yeah. Um, obviously, they had a couple of things. They were like, yo, try this. Because uh, I think at some points, we literally were talking over each other yeah, yeah. and all of this. Uh, yeah. Trying to hold one discussion. And all of that, but I think it went extremely well, man. I really think it went extremely well. It was dope. It was refreshing, you know, because maybe you guys also tired of seeing these two faces. Yeah, I mean, when we talk too you much know, as well, yeah, you know, we go yeah. on <laughs> rambling, rambling, rambling. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. yeah, little Scar or little Arthur or Tiny, you know, get yeah. on the camera and say some stuff now and again. You guys are gonna be seeing a lot more of that definitely coming through in the future. You know? I really enjoyed it, man. I really enjoyed future. it. Um, I think it reminded me of the like back in the day. I used to go to like um, what is this? They call it a um, book clubs, you know. Yeah. And there would be like twenty people around. You know what I mean? And we'll be discussing in terms of books, like whatever book that someone has read, and then they will basically review it for us. Yeah. And then we'll start then asking questions and start talking about different topics and whatnot. It reminded me a lot about that. And and to be honest, the the the. There is points where you become really chaotic because everybody wants to speak, especially if people have an opinion. An everybody, opinion, yeah, everybody. You know has I mean? an everyone opinion, wants to say some. Everyone wants to talk. Yeah. You know, it's like yo, guys, and people are making jokes. You know, some it's people true. aren't that serious. Like true. I'm never that serious. Like <laughs> if you see me anyway, even in church, like I'm never that serious. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, but I think it was definitely healthy. I want to do more of it, man. I yeah, think we definitely like, we need to do a lot more do, of that. Because, you know, what I mean, yeah, a couple no, of them as well. It's it's definitely a refresher. We'll just obviously control them a little bit better coming through um, with a little bit of control and you know making sure that everybody speaks, everybody voices themselves out and expresses themselves yeah, yeah. I, I in the best manner possible and everything. So yeah, look out for that, my fit. Look out for that. It's definitely coming a lot more coming with that. But to put a cap on the conversation that we were having ne, mm -hmm. about this whole culture appropriation or culture vulture conversation, yeah, I yeah. think um, if you look at what Drake did, for example, now, I, including Black Coffee as one of the producers to his album, which is a predominantly dance album, and he also had uh, a, a, an African producer or South African producer, you know, by the likes of a Black Coffee, be on the on, on on the album, you know. So I think that's what a lot of Africans and South Africans, um, if we're talking specifically about home, want to see from the international sphere to mm -hmm. say that yo, are you actually taking some of our own in? To actually endorse their products and also give them credit to what they did, they do with and for you. Yeah, type of thing. And yeah. I think that's that's the major complaint or conversation that people want to have. But I also really, really understand what you're saying, man. Yeah. What mm -hmm. when you're speaking about that, well, it like I, I just want to touch on you know the Scorpion Kings that did a, a, um, an event not so long ago. I think it was this past weekend at San Arena. In mm. Joburg, yeah, 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 that was amazing, dog. I yeah. don't know if you've seen some videos of what they did there. That no, was like no. epic, you know what I mean? Yeah. You should check it out. People go out there and check it out on YouTube. You can see a couple of stuff that they've done. Dope. And just seeing, it was almost like the, because I think, look, if you think about it, right? 
I'm a piano has always been coming. There's always going to be a point where it reaches, you know, commercial um, uh, epitome FDA, or whatnot, yeah. you know. Yeah. And with that, with that concert that they did, it looked like, bro, it was like, it was like the height. It was like a memory of everything we've been celebrating from like, you know what I mean, two, three years ago, you know what I mean, when it started when really it started, popping. Yeah. It was amazing, dog. You should check it out, dog. So did they do like um, an orchestral version? No, it wasn't. DJing? E it would look, like they had... Like Africa Rising type shandies? No, nah, not, not even. They had, they did have like live artists, so they had like um, guitar vibes. They had like the, you know, the basements and whatnot. But they also had like different artists come through and perform. You know, they had like more Musa Keys were there. All the guys that they basically worked with, worked they with, had yeah, all of them there up. doing not not Musa Keys. I saw what's that other guy's name again? Um, the guy that sings, man. The guy that, that sang non Taluang was definitely there. The guy that that, that sung with who um, who's this guy, man? You know the the, the boy Za, he was definitely there, Angelic was definitely there. Um this guy Amos, Amos or oh, Amos, Im yeah. Amos, yes, yeah. Amos was there as well. That was like a dope performance you as well. The one who so. sings with mass music. Yes, oh, yes, does some yes, stuff with mass yes, music. Yes, yes. Yeah. Amos is nice. So shout out to them, Amos man. They, nice. they, they, they really did some incredible stuff. I loved watching it. You know, the performances it was like, and everything. It, for me, it looked like the, <laughs> the, the epitome of you know what I mean of really getting to everything that they've done for the last two, three years. You know what I mean, yeah. and then ultimately bringing it on stage and saying, yo, we actually did some incredible work, you know. Because the music is funny, it's nice, but I think as an artist, performance is always the ultimate level. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's Interaction where actually, with the crowd and yeah, everything. Yeah, you know? No, no, that, that, so that, that creates those momentous um, um, experiences for you as an artist that you can always, you know, if properly captured, look back on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Talking about things that get captured, bro, I saw an article and I, prob I, prob I probably think you're going to like this. <laughs> so it says that uh, couples that take pictures together uh, remain together. So what is your... Uh, what is cap, your cap? Cap, 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 no, cap, 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 like cap, 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 did you have to give that example <laughs> with her full name? Come on now, hey, don't do that. I, I don't forget, do that. I forget. But um, I don't think so, man. Because I'll give you an example. Like I don't really share that much. I don't share her on my statuses. You know what I mean? I don't share like you know what I mean. Yes, That's we do. True. We yeah, do I've take. We do do, yeah, we do take pictures together and whatnot. But like, I don't post her. She really doesn't post me that much as well. Um. But we're still together, you know what I mean? And I feel like I'm I'm stronger with her than ever, you know what I mean? Mm. So I think not necessarily, man. I think that that applies with that same thing to say you must always be posting your uh, your, 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 your significant, significant other. other. I don't think so, dog. Yeah. I don't think that's really relevant to the sustainedness of your relationship and who you guys are, mm. you know? Because different people like different things. For me, for instance, I really do like a private life, Yeah. you know? And during entertainment, <laughs> especially now that I'm in entertainment as well, you know what I mean. But just in general, in general, I like, I, I really like, like, like for instance, I, I don't really tell people that I'm in a relationship, you know what I mean? Yeah, I wouldn't you tell, no, they should find out how they find out, but like, yeah. I wouldn't tell you because that's my that's my sanctuary, you know what I mean? That's San my sanctuary, sanctuary. There we go, uh, it's mechanics, mechanics, mechanics. mechanics. <laughs> So for me, it's like, it's my safe space. It's my home. You know what I mean? And I don't like people getting into my home, you know, knowing everything about my home, you know. The more they know, the more they're going to influence me, mm. you know, or influence my girl, whatever the mm. case may be. So I like to keep stuff like that very much very to me, you know, quiet and in private, exactly. So I don't think taking pictures would really do that, but I think doing things together, mm. Just the two of you guys of you. could really enhance that, yeah. Enhance that, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what do you think? Yeah, well, I, I firstly, I want to read the article because there, there's two takes I want us to actually discuss this on because it, it, it goes quite in depth. Because I, I like the point you made where um, you say that if you put your life out there too publicly, mm -hmm. the external forces also start to influence you 
And in this case, there's a scary part, which I'm going to reveal in the article, um, that makes me think of the higher ups, the higher powers. You mm-hmm. know, conspiracy Jones coming out now. Oh, <laughs> shit, okay, okay. But not so that. So basically, wait, talk wait, about wait, yourself, because you no, love them no, shit. Wait, 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 it's not just Hey, Akbar, have you know. realized he likes Trump's princes, this one, it's dog? Not, it's it lives on there. It's not just about that, though. Yeah. It's not just about that, because I'm going to give you some stats, then I'm, then I'm going to make your eyes go wide. Okay, right? cool. And you got to understand who has access and control of this data. So they say a picture paints a thousand words, as you all know that phrase. And if that is the case, platforms like Instagram and Facebook have a lot to say. To put this into context, there are over 3.2 billion images that are uploaded on social media daily. According to statistics, 1.72 trillion photos are taken worldwide every year, which equals to 54,400 per second. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is a lot. That's it? goddamn too yes, much. It's goddamn too Half much. of that belongs to Jeff. <laughs> 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 now, <laughs> with all these numbers pointing to the love people have of yeah. taking photos, right? Recent research shows that couples that take photos together stay together. According to Splinto magazine, these photography sessions allow couples to capture memories to last a lifetime. And according to relationship expert Cheryl Moyer, couples that take photographs together echo a statement of solidarity and commitment. Some enjoy sharing this way in this way while others choose to keep it more private. While that may be the case, A recent study shows that couples who take and share photos of each other on social media stay together. Scientists Catalina Al Toma and Mina Choi of the University of Wisconsin came to that (laughs) conclusion. (laughs) Came to that conclusion after a recent study (laughs) on the association between Facebook self presentations of coupledom and relationship longevity among college aged partners. Um, it examined the relationships of 212 undergraduates and they found that um, the couple's a relative involvement in sharing about their relationship publicly, um, uh, so, sorry, for a period of six months, they measured the couple's relative involvement in sharing about their relationships publicly. And after the half-year study, researchers found that Facebook self-presentational cues were associated with an increase in commitment for dating couples which in turn increased their likelihood of remaining together after six months. And the research suggests that the extent to which people tell others about their relationship and gain approval is correlated with it lasting longer. Okay, that makes a little bit sense. <laughs> that makes a little sense because like, yeah. the more you share about it in terms of telling even people, the more you, know, you feel more inclined to stay together. Yeah. You know? But now, this is, this is the crazy thing. This information was all published um, from a journal from Cyber Psychology Behavior and Social Networking. Okay, what is that? I, I don't get That's some sort of a body. Oh, okay, mechanics. <laughs> 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 it's totally mechanics, bro, because I don't understand <laughs> half so of what was said there. Cyber, sci- sci- cyber psychology scientists and, and, and social networking. Oh, okay. It's a body that basically connects, oh, collects and okay, collects that okay. data. Okay, so they're already, they're already in the social media aspect of world. Do you understand? So now they're saying, yo, share more on like social media vibes, yeah. right? Fuck them, you see? It's you your understand? people, dog. What it's you your mean people. It's my people. So conspiracy guys. It's not my people. conspiracy people, dog. This is happening, dog. Yeah. There are people who are collecting that information on yeah. us. But I'm not gonna make this gloom and doom May Day. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're talking specifically though about what they're saying about mm-hmm. couples taking pictures together and sharing it. I think that is a, a level of truth in that, yeah. in that if I'm sharing pictures with my significant other, I'm afraid to not necessarily afraid, but reluctant to leave her because now I'm thinking I'll probably have to explain to everyone else what happened. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and you think as well about all the friends and people that you met. You know, it's for true. me, you know, for me, how they trapped me, because eh? they trapped me. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> 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 how they trapped me was that they introduced me to. She introduced me to all her friends. Yeah. You know what I mean? All her close friends, you know. And I started liking her friends. You know what I mean? Uh, and then, you know what I mean? And already I liked her, you know yeah. what I mean? But I also started liking her friends. So now it's like, if ever, you know, yeah. I were to think of like breaking it yeah, off, or doing I have to shit. now also think about like, yo, dog, like how her friends. friends gonna take this? How am I going to chill with the friends after <laughs> this shit is over? You know what I mean? Yeah. So it speaks back to this, to this, to this thing, you know, to say, listen, if you do tell people more and you do, you know, share and whatnot, it is harder. I mean, even in our cultures, you know, 
they say, you know, you know, in, in I don't know about your culture, but I think it's mostly in black cultures. You don't marry the person, you marry their family. Oh. And there's a yeah. reason of that. One of the reasons is that it will be harder for you to leave that person because you know that your whole life already is connected with that family. To that family. You know what I mean? So you're not just leaving them, you're leaving the whole family, you know? When it's just you and you and him or you and her and whatever, it will be easier for you to leave that person, mm. you mm. know? Yeah, but point. if you know, point. dog, like, listen... I know the cousin, I know the sister, and I like them, and yeah. they love me, and they take care of me, and they help me when I'm in need and whatnot. It's going to be harder for you to leave that to person. To actually leave them. Yeah. Something called a conscience. <laughs> <laughs> you have a conscience, but yeah. you like conscience, lad. <laughs> you must look out. It's la chastir. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I think I think I think it's got some value to it, but I'm yeah. not sure to what I extent. want us to take a quick moment, ne? Okay. Uh, send the mic around the room. Um, ask people, would they ever get back with an ex? Since we're on the, you know, we're on the topic oh of couples Oh, shit. Things, you're on that you know? one. You're on yeah. that one. Yeah. Uh, guys, we're just going to send the mic around. Pass just the quick, mic. quick one. Ne? Um, would you get back with an ex and why? And it if not, also why? Ne? He's, ready He's ready to answer. He's, He's ready to answer. answer. Stay, right Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. You don't have to be on camera. You don't have to get on camera. Um, <laughs> yeah, pass him the mic, pass him the mic. Pass him the mic. You want to pass him yours? You, you pass like him you yours, dog. You want to pass him yours? Come on now. Okay, good day, good day, guys. How are you guys doing? We're doing well, we're doing well, awesome, my G. Awesome. Okay, um, the reason why I'm here, like, um, to say about my ex that I'll get back to it, um, with, uh, damn, I'm stuttering. You see, yeah. this is what she causes me. <laughs> 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 the thing is, make people start on the <laughs> <laughs> Last week it was Zwerz, we're not knowing how to do people pick up lines. <laughs> Yeah, the reason, the thing is, no, um, I would get back with my ex. The the reason being is that, like, at that time, I was young, per se. I was mm. around, you know? She was, like, for, you know, women are more mature than men. Yeah. So, they're, like, the intellect is, like, way above. She had the vision. She had the goal. So, she could see, like, a future with us. But, like, you know, a young boy, a young boy around the streets, you know, when you're in the street, you want to stay in the street. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, I would get back with her, but, you know. Yeah. Give, 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 give Usi there. Let's see what Usi would say. Or oh, Agba. Hey, Agba wants to say something. Give it Agba. Because they are. Nah, dog, I'll make it short and simple. I wouldn't, dog. Why, though, dog? Don't you think there's that one person that you messed up? Not them. You messed up where you think that if ever they gave you another chance and you're in a different situation, let's say you're single and space and grown, you might actually take the chance? Nah, dog, I wouldn't. <laughs> ah, I wouldn't. You know, you, you know what I think? I think, I think, I think people that don't want to go back to the exes, they themselves are so much, they know what they date. Like, they've dated the trashy of the trashiest people out there. <laughs> so, Uzi and this one are definitely those times. <laughs> give it, give it a coach or Agba there. Let's see what they say. All right, cool. Coach, you want to say something? There you go. Coach, coach, let us know. Would you get back to? I would and I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. It depends. If I fucked up, I would go back. Ah. If she fucked up, no. Then you don't go back. I could. Sweet oh, and wait, short, wait, man. Wait, Sweet wait, and short. Wait, I have a question for that. Now, you say if, if, if you fucked up, you would go back, which is you have a level of expectation that she would or should forgive you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Grab it for you. Would you go back to your next match? Me, as I said yesterday, hell to the no. Why not, man? You know, I think, I think, like, 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 um, my G said in the back right there. For me, man, to be honest, it depends on, on, on. And I said this to you, I was like, listen, you know, sometimes we grow as people, you know. So the way you were acting three years ago is different the way you're acting now. You know what I mean? People change, people grow, you know what I mean? And with that, I feel like you need to give people opportunity, dog. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. You never know, you know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> Thank you. You know what's one of the reasons you say no? Yeah. Um, toxic masculinity is going to be used as a Ooh, to toxic mis <laughs> yeah, is a contributor. Toxic mechanics. And you, and, and you <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, gee, for me, it's just the thing of, uh, there's a quote I live by, and it goes, 
never go back to the place that made you leave. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But but here's the thing, and this is where this is where I'm coming from is that in that context, you're making it seem as if that person made you leave. But in many other contexts, you the one that made them leave. You the fucked up one. You the toxic one. You know what I mean? You're the one that made the relationship not work, you know? So if you've grown and changed as a person, do you not think then they might have grown and changed as a person too? Even so, man, I just don't want to have to deal now with the new problems that come with that. The problem is the person now needs to give me a new lease of trust, right? And it's not coming on a clean slate. It's coming back of memories of you've once done this to me. So any form of you are not answering your phone, for example, is, where were you? <laughs> now I need to answer for that. Now I'm living a life of slave man here, like, oh, I need to report. I'm going to the bathroom. I'll be two minutes. Nah, dog. <laughs> you know, it gets to that level, yeah. really. Because I feel like, be only because I've only been in a heterosexual relationship, I I in those type of relationships... Homosexual? In a heterosexual. Homosexual? Hetero. Oh, okay, hetero. Okay, okay, okay. Sexual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah uh, I don't do sword fighting. Um, in, in, in Because I've been in those uh, uh, relationships, I have to deal with women. And my experience is that women will basically want to engulf and control your life if, if, they, if you've been, let's say, if you've cheated, for mm -hmm. example, and they found out and they forgave you. Mm -hmm. They make your life extra harder because now they find it harder to trust you. And I don't want to live like that where somebody now, every time I do something, they have to question. If I go out of the house looking good, it's a, it's a comment like, don't date anybody or don't hit on any girl. You know, that's a, uh, you want to look good for your bit, you know, that type of stuff. Yeah. Now I have to deal with that problem. And I feel like it's inevitable if I go back to my ex. Who rather are you dating, dog? What exes are these are you dating, Rather dog? let them go and experience your, your exes were crazy, a new yeah? lease of life. Your exes were crazy, bro. Let's rather be honest. Rather let them go and experience yeah. a new lease of life. <laughs> With a guy that she finds either better than me, yeah. whether financially, Who's whether by looks, or whether just by heart. You understand? Yeah. And let me go and find the one that's going to hurt me for the things I did to her so that I can be a better person. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's the craziest because you've dated? Because like that. What's the craziest Thomas you've like dated, dog? Like the craziest I've girl dated. you've dated, yeah. Like, well, what's the craziest thing she's done? I've yeah. never, cra I've never dated crazy girls. It's just... I've dated girls. Oh, that you're the are, crazy one. No, no, no. I'm not even the crazy <laughs> one. I've just always had a commitment to my hustle more than the relationship. Ah, that was my okay, biggest problem okay, before. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. But now I, I, I tried to, you know, open up for a relationship. Mm. And that's why I think it lasted so long. But before then, um, I never was loyal to a relationship. I could make plans with my girlfriend. Be like, baby, we're going out on lunch tomorrow at 12. Mm -hmm. And then a gig comes through. And mm -hmm. I have to prep for that. <laughs> I have a gig. Sorry. We have to rain check. And I don't give a shit what you care, what you think. I don't, I don't care, right? Oh, yeah. Dog, phone's it's phone's tiny. Phone's it's tiny. Ah, it's tiny. It's the landlord. It's the landlord. You Let me tell the fuck off. Let set. me tell the fuck off. Hey, when I am Sunni, you are supposed to be here. Where are you? We are on set. We are on set. Much mind what you say. We are on set. Oh. Where are you? <laughs> She ah, put she's, it down. Yeah, I know. She's, I put, yeah, she put she, she's out of she it. She's out of it. Yeah, yeah. Ah, sweet. Yeah, yeah. You're saying. Um, train of thought now. Ish. You never, you never, you never committed to to women. I never committed. You're always committing to, I to your hustle. I committed to my hustle before oh, yeah. anything, and 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 it, it always looked like I put my friends before my girlfriend because ah, my hustle okay, was okay. with my friends. Mm. So it was also a fun aspect to it. Yeah, I'm told. So to them, it always just looked like I'm choosing my friends over them mm, type of thing. Yeah, but I never really dated crazy women, dog. I, I dated well-mannered girls that came from good homes. The only issue is that I think from me, they weren't getting the attention and then they felt like I was I was and woman, neglecting them in that let's way. Let's be honest. Woman, woman... Yo, please, woman poly want drinks, gents. Ah, we've been waiting, yo. <laughs> yo, we've been waiting. Woman, it's snacks, it's corner, Joe. No snacks. Hang on, no snacks. Ah. Hey, where are you? Hey, this is... Ah, uh, snacks. Just don't go come, 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 come. Initiative. Ne? Next time, initiative. Yeah, you want to do it. But anyway, so for, for me, you know, look, I think, I think, use the black one. Use the black one for the snacks. Yeah, yeah black <laughs> one for snacks. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> this fucker. <laughs> this fucker. Yeah? Uh, uh, no, it's fine. 
get, ah, get my, he's, he's a black some one. Doritos and some Biltong there. Yeah, so good. and the black one. So listen, um, it's this a black card, most. Yeah, issue. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what I was going to say is that, it, I, I, look, I, I totally understand you and I feel where you're coming from because it's one of the hardest things to do to balance. Because women love affection. That's yeah, the first thing, you know what yeah. I mean? Women want to feel like they're important in life. They want, they want that attention. And it's not that we don't want it because we want it too, but more them than us, you know what I mean? And it's one of the hardest things to actually balance out to be able to actually do and, and practice and implement, you know? But I think for any good relationship... You know, I, I battle with it as well, even in my current relationship. But I think for any relationship, you need to find that balance. You know what sure. I mean? Um, yeah. And it comes with growth, I guess, as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the right one. I think if you have the right one sometimes, because sometimes you have, you're dating someone, but hey. But they're not necessarily. You know, they already yeah. don't understand you. You oh, know, they already yeah. don't understand oh, yeah. why you have to be working. Why so are now, you doing this? You know what I mean? All of that stuff. Yeah, it's a problem. So then man. it becomes a little bit of a balancing act. You know what yeah, I mean? I'm know? so concerned about time, dog. Akbar, how, how, how far is it? Can you check there how long? It's on 45 right now. Ah, we okay, sweet, cool. We sweet, we so sweet. we should be doing another 10, 15 minutes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Otherwise, um, you know, because we're talking about women and everything, do you do? Are you are you a loop guy? A loop guy? Yeah. Hey, depends, dog. Depends if there is loop around. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 and if there's no loop, what do you do? Uh, if there's no loop, uh, the quickest thing I can get that you know acts like loop exactly, <laughs> like my man is doing that. Oh, pow, 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 pow. <laughs> Yeah, you know to what I mean? To be because there's a study that says yeah, yeah, that yeah, shit yeah, is not yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all the women, let me say this, all the women around the world are probably going to be enjoying this one. And this conversation. Because I think, I think women generally don't like spit. Yeah, to be used. they don't like it. You know what I mean? They, 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 like they generally don't like it. And men don't give a fuck. Men just like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I'll not, get this over and yeah, done. I mean, <laughs> if it's not your spit, I'll use mine. Now you're a fuck. Man. Let's go. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 so I want to quickly just give you all guys a bit of a breakdown on what we're talking about. Um, it's a quick article um, uh, that warns against using saliva during sex. And here it goes. It says oral sex or using saliva as lubrication is just an exchange of bacterium that cannot exist. Uh, the gist of it is that during sex, instant lubrication might be required for penetration and the only option might be saliva. <laughs> but it is also vital during oral sex the whole point of oral sex is the mouth containing saliva making contact with the vag but is it healthy <laughs> <laughs> that's the question why should we care doctors and health experts are saying that there is an increase in fungal and bacterial infections in women's vaginas and the reason is saliva Doctors say that humans have a lot of bacteria in their mouths mm. called oral microflora, which harms the vagina. Those giving Shit. head or oral pleasure to women are at risk because the vagina has a bacterium called lactobacillus or bacillus mm -hmm. um, and candida albicans, which are good bacteria for the vagina, but they shouldn't be found in the mouth. Mm. Men could also get herpes, gonorrhea, and syphilis from giving women oral sex. While women can bacteria, wh while women can bacterial vaginosis and yeast infection from using saliva as lubrication. You see, this is why this is why muffins should be cancelled, but bro jobs can still ah. continue. <laughs> I was actually having a conversation with a friend, right, yeah. about it. Now, mind you, this friend of mine is single, so don't judge. <laughs> Cameraman, hey, these guys are you're yeah, discussing while we're having, having your own, own podcast. Conversation in there. You guys are having your own podcast. There. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. So I was having a conversation with the friend, and uh, and and we're talking about um, going going down on women and everything. Yeah. Right? And he's like, how often do I do that? And I'm like, I do it for my girlfriend. But, you know, he's single. And I ask him, are you doing this for each and every girl that you, you know, are with? And so, and, but, but the problem I have is that, is it, do, do, do you see anything wrong with that? I don't, I mean, I'm not a fan of going down. Yeah. But I'll do it for my woman. Let me, let me be honest. I, I never thought I would be saying this on like a national podcast. <laughs> telling people about, you know what I mean? 
But generally, I think, like, you, I also don't really like it. I don't prefer it, you know what I mean? Um, but, like you, for my woman, this is my woman, you know what I mean? I definitely do it, yes, you know what I mean? If yes. she likes it, I'll do it for her, you know? I'll go, I'll go anywhere for you, dog, like, whatever you need, dog. You know, if you want me to walk a mile, I'll walk a mile, dog. What I'm trying to say is I love you, dog. Okay, I'm going too much. Let him walk, let him walk let on, back, on ashes for you. Nah, fuck on that hot shit. hot ashes for you. Fuck that a shit. Meter stretch. Nah, fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> But yeah, so like, for me, I, like, I, I don't prefer it to be honest. And I think it also based on that, because look, let's be honest, right? The two species in terms of like vaginal and dick, mm. there's a lot that's happening in vaginal mm. than there is that's happening in dick. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. I mean, you're talking about like, you know, vaginal, I can't speak about them all, but like, you can imagine yourself, you know? So, and that's why I think that the, the bacteria and all, all the stuff that's happening there is very sort of dangerous then for a man to be do, doing oral sex as it is for a for for a, a woman, woman to, to be, be doing, doing it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but I would say as well, the, 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 the statistics that you're reading do sound, do make sense because, I mean, can you imagine your mouth? We put so much shit in our yeah, mouth, like in terms of food, a lot of stuff. drinking, whatnot. Sometimes you with the pen that was held by my Bro, and, and you're playing with and it, and do you know what yeah. I mean? And then you go, then you like muff. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't make sense, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So it makes sense. Plus, makes sense. I don't know, how good is all of the chemicals that we use to brush our teeth with for yeah. you know, that stuff? Because even if you say, I brushed my teeth, hey, yeah. buddy, you just put can fluoride you start, in can, can you stop making the animation? Like <laughs> 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 it's so graphic, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to put it in their heads. <laughs> hey. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, but yeah, the article also gives some um, like four reasons why saliva is the worst lubricant you can use. And they say it's But there's dries. nothing else though, bro. Like what what else are you gonna use if you don't have loop? The, and it's know. not like it's not like loop is always there. You know, for me, you know I hate loop, ne? Look for me, what I hate about it is that it, it, it interrupts the momentum. Because <laughs> you always have to look for it, you know what I mean? You always have to look for it, you know? So it's like, uh, we are there, we're doing it, we're having fun, you know, we're engaging. We, it's intense, you know what I mean? It, there's, there's like, it's like, it's like, there's a volcano and it's like, the room is erupting. It's about to erupt. You know what I mean? Like we are there, you but know? now you still need to rub oil on it. And now you're like, yep, <laughs> you still have to find it, dog, you know? When you find it, you, you're busy doing this, like, <laughs> come on, dog, you know what I mean? That's Woo! why I don't like lube. But, yes, I also ask myself, I mean, lube is a thing of, like, modern times, man. Were our forefathers having this issue? Good question, bro. Yeah, dog, it's a thing. And, and they were making, and they were making eight babies. They are making <laughs> more babies than us. Eight, yeah, yeah, yeah. nine, ten, they right? Were, yeah, they were fucking, they those, were those guys. More. Those guys were doing the far most, dog. Uh, okay. God damn it, bro. Today, Tina, we said... And they were two. cheating even more, dog. Exactly. There was no models back in the day, yeah. dog. You know that shit. No, no, monogamy was not a thing. Yeah. That's why. Yeah, monogamy yeah, was yeah, not yeah, a thing. yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Ah, they were going <laughs> hard, dog. Ah, they were so going I really, hard, I really dog. wonder, like, why is it such a need nowadays? What are these people doing? But anyway, it dries too quickly, so it hardly lubricates. That's the first reason why saliva is not a good lubricant. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It dries okay, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. too quickly. Um, it can cause tears in the vagina because of forceful entry, because it didn't lubricate properly. Mm. So when like, you're there, have you, ever, yo, have you ever suffered from friction after sex? Yeah, oh, I've, I've had sex nice. before, so yeah. <laughs> 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 it's not nice, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then it can cause the vagina to have a horrible smell and discharge if the person has a mouth odor. So mm. if you're not one that likes to, you know... Brush your teeth, ne? Brush your teeth mm. or get some... Uh, uh, Usi, are you listening? <laughs> are you listening? <laughs> Must brush your or teeth, guys. Brush your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> And lastly, which is also the most scary, yeah. STIs are transmitted to and from the mouth. Wait, what? STIs, yeah. Yes. To and from the mouth, yeah. If you have herpes in your mouth, you can transfer it to your vagi a vagina, or if your girl has herpes in the mouth, she can yeah, yeah. it to your penis. Okay, but let's say we're not doing any oral sex, right? Is there a possibility of an STI being passed? 
Yeah, because that if means they had it before, yeah, if they have okay, it okay, and okay. they have it like they already have like blessings, for example, that means that it's in their bloodstream. So you oh, okay. be having intercourse with them. Okay, okay. Shit, that's crazy, dog. I think now that you're saying this, because I'm thinking, I mean, we, we've all had sex in this room, so we might, have you we? know. <laughs> I know. I know. Some of them are looking suspect. Eh? <laughs> suspect in your chabu. I'm staring into the camera, Chabu, dog. Eh? Chabu's <laughs> looking away. Chabu, why are you looking away, chief? Eh? Why are you looking away? <laughs> but I think I think that's why, like, a lot of the time, if you notice, you'll get that the, 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 the vibes where it's like, you know, sometimes, like, women suffer from, the, the friction or the mm. the burning in the sense that it was too, you know what I mean? I don't know, too rough or too whatever, rough, too dry, yeah, you too know dry. what I mean? Yeah, then they start dry. to hurt and whatnot. Mm. I think it's maybe because of the saliva vibes, you know? Cause, Possibly also, ne? dog, because really it does really dry up quickly. Yeah. And I think it also makes everything dry then. I think as men, we like it, dog, because we just get the good parts of sex, dog. We don't care. That's our problem as men. You think so? Yeah, I think something takes over when men get, you know... Get horny. When, yeah, when men get stiff, dog, something takes over. And Ash, sometimes yeah, no. the behavior change. And then we, we, we really, we will find ourselves not caring. You're just like, you're there, you're just trying to... Ah, get you you just want to bust the nut, you dog. Just, uh, yeah, bust you, the you nut, yeah, yeah. And, and that's also <laughs> one of the biggest faults. One of the, one of the biggest areas yes. where we are at fault yes. in the eyes of women. You yes, know? yes, so, yes, yeah, yes, yes, to yes. Look at for us as we know, I think we've had this discussion even yeah, before. As you know, when we had um, the sex talk, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like we're always having sex talk though. But anyway, hey, um, yeah, yeah, I know it's like you have a point even there. yesterday we were having sex talk. Yeah, so you have a point anyway. there. <laughs> anyway, uh, on that note, nonetheless, you know, uh, I guess it's a 18 SNL <laughs> type of podcast. You know what I mean? If you're younger than 18, don't watch this don't shit. Don't watch this shit. It's inappropriate. You know what I mean? I mean, we, so we should start putting that PG rating. There. We swear so much anyway, so you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody actually said, can y'all just stop using the word fuck in your podcast so much? And I was like, nah, never, dog. Fuck is like, the fuck is like never, the next dog. word. Nah, nah, you know? nah, nah, nah. That's the day, that's the day the <laughs> podcast will like end, dog. Like, <laughs> there's so much meaning to fuck that, you know what I mean? Like, if you, you could, you could literally be saying, I hate this person. Could you just say, I actually like this person? You can literally be using it's a it word in so of much. Emphasis. Bro. It's a word of emphasis. I fucking love Agba. I you know what I mean? Coach. I fucking hate coach. You know? <laughs> then you know you're going to start fighting with coach, but you might just hug Agba. But I might just hug Agba. You know what I mean? <laughs> Your friend, bro. So now nah, we're not going to stop using that word, man. I love that word, man. Yeah. I always have. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm so always, yeah. I've always been a fan of profanity, so it's cool. Definitely. <laughs> Same here, bro. Same here, bro. But on that note, I think we've hit an hour, man. Let's, let's wrap it we up. We have. Let's, let's wrap, wrap it up. up. Yeah. We don't want to bombard you with too much. Um, it's the second show consecutively this Sunday because yeah. Breezy's got some commitments. But yeah, man, you'll catch us now on that week. Yeah, yeah. So we're probably going to be gone for like two weeks or so. Mm. Um, a little bit quiet, but we're gonna, we're gonna. You guys will miss us, of course. We'll keep dropping mixes, of course. Yeah, boom. Um, just to keep you guys busy until we do another episode, you know. Uh -huh. Agba, what are you doing, dog? Next week that we couldn't record this week. Oh shit! He just said he got a whole lot of other shit to do. Mm -hmm. God damn it! I guess we all busy up and here. And that's eh? what we do here. That's we create we do, platforms man. We create, for opportunity, we create. man. Yeah, man. Speaking of that, how we create it is we shout out everybody that we're busy with. Shout out to Streetwalkers Revival. Shout out to Lifestyle Explorer. Those are the gents handling the videography work. Shout out to JBK Freeman also, who's now joined the fam and is working with us, doing the most. Y'all about to see a lot more from them. Yeah, Transzone Mag, check that out. And of course, it's myself uh, at trendy underscore big fun on IG. That's the only social network I care about. So yeah, <laughs> <we'll be there. laughs> yeah man. shout out to collab. Shout out to collab twenty two. Relax, boys and relax. I got you, boys. <laughs> shout out to collab twenty two. You know the gents that run this. Those are our landlords. They always keep us humble, man. They always keep us together. You know what I mean? We've been doing this, I think, for a year now. You know what I mean, and so I don't mark, think, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I think it's if not, if not now, maybe oh, next yeah, month or so. Next, but soon, in the next month or couple so. of months, yeah, yeah, couple of months or soon. So we've definitely been here for a long time, and they've always, you know, seen a way to say how can we keep going, how can we keep improving. So the shout out to them. Still like day one. Still, still like day one. Still like day one. Shout out to UCJ is in the fucking He's building, the man. Building. You know, curated. You know what I mean? He's got a company now called Curated. Is it curated what again? Connect, curated, connect. Shout out to them. Check them out as well on IG. If you follow, like them as well and see what they do. I'll go by the name of Wah Hotel in the building, the hottest DJ in Cape Town. This is the hottest.
podcast, the biggest podcast in, in Cape, Cape Town. Town. We keep improving, we keep going, man. So shout out to y'all. Love and peace. And happiness. There we go. Ba -ba -boom. Boom. <laughs> Was it recording, dog? Did you see here if it was recording, eh? It is, it is. I see. <laughs>